Hey everyone, and welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate seeing you here. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. If you can do me a huge favor, click that subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we're gonna do another viewer's request. We're gonna visit the house of Molinard. Stay tuned. So like I said in the preview, this video is gonna be for another subscriber, someone that is also a fragrance reviewer. We're talking about Scott over at 504 Man Reviews. Now Scott sent me a message saying, hey, I got a good uh, idea for you or a fragrance I'd love to see you review. And here I am following through with that uh, tonight here. Now Scott, I know you just hit 200 subscribers at the filming of this video. Congratulations, buddy. I know that you, you know, you're striving for that, working hard. You have a ton of videos coming out, a lot of good content. Uh, and you're just a really nice guy. So if you guys haven't checked him out yet, I'm going to leave a link down below to 504 Man of Reviews. Just a really nice guy, uh, you know, working hard to make sure that he can share his fragrance journey with each and every one of you. And one of the most, you know, personal things he always says and talked about, especially at the beginning of the videos he was releasing, was how much he really enjoyed the fact that he could share his love of fragrance and the interest with a community like on Facebook and, and through his YouTube channel, which is truly genuine. So if you haven't had a chance to go check him out, Go do it. Now, Scott, this one's for you, bud. Also, happy belated birthday. I believe yesterday was your birthday, so I decided to make this happen right here, right now, tonight. So the fragrance Scott wanted me to review was from the house of Molinard. Is this one right here? Fig. Now, Fig, according to Fragrenica, the main words are woody, fruity, green, citrus, and sweet. The cap, I'm going to try to get the cover in there. It's really hard to get these things to focus sometimes. I'm hoping it's clear for you right there. And the text on the bottom of the bottle looks like that. It's got the size, batch code, things of that nature. The sprayer, when you pull the cap off, looks just like this. This one's uh, gold in color. Some of the other ones are different colors. And what we're going to do is give this one a quick spray and give you my uh, my feelings and what I smell when I spray it on myself. So the sprayers are nice. When you spray that or when I spray that, I get a citrusy blast of trees or green or woodsy or something like that you know it's kind of cool because what i smell in the air is different than what i'm going to smell in my hand i'm pretty sure um i don't always know these fragrances right off the top of my head when i put them to my nose again i'm like oh that one again so let's do it hmm. that's just a really nice fragrance it's a really rich citrus fragrance at first that like i said adds some sort of woodsy notes i'm not exactly sure what they what they are to to a point but i smell either pine or some sort of tree that mixed with that citrus is just a really nice fragrance. I could see this being really good for probably the spring, summer even, fall, if you want to go that route. You can technically wear this whenever you'd like to, but it's really bright and citrusy. And the cool part is with the House of Molinard is it's a niche fragrance company. So it, it it's not just the normal everyday, you know, uh, say Marshall's pickup or special buy. It, it is its own niche fragrance. And me, I picked this one up here from uh, Alan over at Beverly Hills Perfumery. I'll leave a link down below to his page. He has some great prices. I don't want to ruin his last name, so I'm just going to say Alan. Um, great prices, super nice guy, fast communication, great responses. Um, they also do have it on fragrancenet.com. Uh, if you see it there, you know what, before you buy it there, reach out to Alan. He might even be able to hook you up with a better deal. Uh, he really is a good guy and does a nice job. Now, Scott, since you asked for this one, <clears throat> I really do get citrusy, woody. I, I smell that fig piece. Um, I consider that, I, I don't know what the fig smell is by itself. I've never had uh, anything to use as like a direct sample of that one component. But there's a rich element to this, and I, I'm pretty positive that's what it is because I can't pinpoint it as anything else. So between the citrus, woodsy, green, and sweet component of this fragrance, it is really nice. Um, it's not mass appealing like, you know, uh, from Abercrombie & Fitch, you have Fierce, which is just a mass appealing fragrance. Many people know about it, heard about it. Uh, you have La Nuit de Alone. Uh, you have, I mean, there's so many great fragrances out there that are either considered mass appealing, uh, like blue fragrances and all of these other ones. This does have a niche to it in a sense that 
it does smell like it's a special fragrance. It's a little bit different, a little bit more daring than the normal, you know, popular or easy reach fragrances. Uh, but to me, if you like to reach on the outside a little bit to a richer, more uh, robust fragrance, then uh, this is a great freshy for, you know, the niche category. If you get a chance to get your nose on this, you know, try it out. It's pretty hot. And it's funny when it dries down. Sorry, I'll go back to the same fragrance again, but I'm excited about fragrances. What do you expect? When this dries down, that fig note becomes more prominent. The citrus dies down a little bit. Still has a strong citrus, but nothing crazy. And that woods, that woodsy grass or uh, or tree portion comes out a little bit stronger. So again, if you haven't had a chance to try it out, that's Fig by Molinard. And uh, again, Alan over at Beverly Hills Perfumery or even FragranceNet.com. Um, I've seen them both places, great prices. And uh, let's move on to the next one. The next one's from the same house. We're looking at Molinard one more time. Because I had that fragrance out, I was like, well, we'll do two at the same time since Scott requested that one for Fig. I'm going to throw this one in the mix because I only have two from the house. This is Molinard Patchouli. The main accords, according to Fragranica, are patchouli, warm, spicy, balsamic, fresh, spicy, citrus, and earthy. The cap is the same. I don't know if that'll get in focus or not. I hope it does for you. I'll try to hide behind the bottle so you can see it. There you go. And then the bottom. Let's see if that comes in. Eh, it's still fuzzy. I'm not going to stay there forever like that. Um, ultimately, let's give this one a spray. This, again, has the same color sprayer. See right there. Pretty easy. And I've never worn this fragrance yet. I've had it for a little while. Uh, I actually got this one from Alan over at Beverly Hills Perfumery as well. Oops. Ooh. Okay. So this is another one that definitely could be used for the spring, fall. It might die. If this dies down a little bit, it'd be more for the summer too, possibly. But if it stays as strong as it is, it could be potent enough even to get, get away with during the winter time. There is a spice to this. Um, the other one had a little bit of a spice of some sort. Maybe a pepper or black currant or something like that. I don't even know what that is, black currant, but in my head that that's a spice too. But this one here. Oof. I can definitely smell patchouli. I mean it's called patchouli for a reason. I don't know how potent that is, but it's very spicy. Like my nose is tingling from the spices. And not something like an Ambroxan type of a tingle or a tickle. It's from whatever the ingredients are that are in this fragrance. Um I don't know how to describe that. It's definitely different. This is not as easy of a reach as Fig would be. Fig is easier to wear. Right now, Fig smells really great on my hand, especially if you like, you know, again, a niche fragrance or something that's a little bit different than from the major massive heel fragrances you always smell. It's a very nice fragrance. It's just, it, it's a little bit different than the mass appealing fragrances. So it, it's kind of cool. And when you get really into the different types of fragrances and the levels into the, you know, the mixtures and concoctions out there, that's definitely a cool one to add to your mix. This one's a little bit too spicy for my nose right now. Still a little bit too spicy. Um, it, it's making my nose burn a little bit. And that might just be the fact, maybe because I had a cold. I keep, I had mentioned I keep a little, this little cough, but the patchouli parts reaching through. There's another, I don't know. I think it's what they consider like the earthy element of this fragrance. That earthy element is reaching through right towards me. Um, I don't know what the heck that part is. But that earthy part is overpowering a lot of the fragrance for me. Um, and it doesn't smell like this fragrance. But a lot of times when I go to refer to earthy or metallic stone or charcoal or something like that i refer to tom ford noir anthracite and this one here has some elements like that to me i don't really know how to describe it i know that i've sprayed this before and when it's dried down on the the piece i sprayed it on the dry down was pretty cool actually i, I was i, I kind of liked it i don't know exactly how long it took to get to that point uh, at this level patchouli is a really nice fragrance as far as the mixture. I can smell these components. It doesn't smell like junk in any way, shape, or form. It smells like really nice elements making this mixture. And I can smell a spicy, earthy, um, 
I don't know, but it's really spicy and earthy. Those are the two things that stick like a sore thumb. And, of course, patchouli. You can definitely smell patchouli in there. It might have neroli or, or something. I love neroli, but this isn't a neroli that I would normally wear or, or understand to be like a mass appealing neroli to me. And the more this dries down, the better it gets. And it's, it's slowly getting there now. That first blast is a lot of fragrance, a lot of, a lot of um, clean elements coming through my nose to the point that I almost wanted to turn away. Uh, to be honest, you know, I like to keep everything honest with you. This isn't my collection. I own the fragrance, so uh, I definitely bought it myself. It wasn't like it was shipped to me to say, hey, I really love this fragrance. That's why I always try to be uh, you know, completely honest with you. I tell you my, my own feelings, my own opinion. And even sometimes while I'm standing here, you'll notice the fragrance will change and it'll start to get better and better. And I'll tell you that. This one here, I'm not the biggest fan of right now. Uh, it's just not there for me. It is getting better the more it dries down. And it might even be the fact that it's either better when it's drying down or that I'm getting more used to it. I don't really know which one it is just yet. I'm going to give it a couple more seconds. So as a quick recap, between these two fragrances from the House of Molinard, they're beautifully mixed fragrances. They have their own identity, their own mixture that is very unique to my nose at least. And each of the elements that you can smell when you put this fragrance to your nose is very rich, very clean, and you know, it really is a beautiful mixture. Let me say that again. It's not that I'm saying they're both the most beautiful fragrances to smell. They're a very beautiful mixture. Each element in their own that you can smell through the fragrances is clean, clear, and precise. It is not a chemical bomb in any way, shape, or form, in my opinion. They are really nice fragrances. So like I said before, they're niche fragrances at you know designer prices in reality. As far as fig goes, this one here definitely gets my recommendation. Uh, it's a very nice fragrance. My hand smells really nice. The citrus woodsy slash, what did I say? Like a sweet, oh, that's probably the fig. I keep wondering what that fig is. But that, that woodsy citrus sweet smell is really nice. And the dry down on this is even better, like I said before, than the original spray. As far as patchouli goes, this guy right here is on my right hand. And the dry down to me is way better than the opening. It's definitely a nicer, cleaner version of the fragrance. The problem to me is I just don't like that earthy note. So if you like earthy notes, if you like patchouli, if you like things like that, even with a little hint of neroli or something in there, I can smell it in the background. I like neroli, that part I like. And the fragrance itself smells really cool and all of the elements smell cool. To me, it is not something that I would wear. I would definitely wear fig. I would not probably wear patchouli unless I wanted to just see what the reactions were from people on the street. So, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for stopping by Making Sense today. And I really appreciate you being here. Scott, hey, thanks so much for the idea to do the review of Fig by Molinard. I hope that my review helped you out, gave you some insight whether you do or do not want to try the fragrance. And, you know, just got you what you were looking for. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button down below. As of shooting this video, uh, I'm so happy and, and grateful. We're at 494 subscribers. I don't know how to say thank you so much. I love knowing you guys are out there watching and it makes me excited to make new content, uh, to continually work on the video and the audio and to make it better for you in your viewing experience. If you have tried anything from the House of Molinard, let me know down below. Have you tried fig? Have you tried patchouli? Have you wanted to try tr fig and patchouli? Uh, are there other fragrances from the house that I should get my nose on? I'd love to hear about them. Uh, definitely throw those comments down below. While you're at it, click the like button. Uh, over there on the subscribe to the side down there would be amazing as well. And share this with your friends and family. Uh, send them over here. Let's get them involved in the fragrance community. If you're watching this, I'm hoping that you're really into FragCon and you enjoy this whole world of fragrances. Why not bring them into it as well? And remember, if you're making the world a better place, one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.